guys, it's Kate. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm really excited because I'm filming with my boyfriend and we are at Whole Foods. Very exciting. And we are gonna be filming a vegan taste test video. And we're gonna get a bunch of vegan junk food and try it all out. I am vegan, so hopefully I like some of this stuff that I can eat more of it. And then my boyfriend, he's not vegan, so Hopefully he likes it, but I have a feeling that he might not like the food that we try, but I guess we will see and we'll just go inside and show you guys what we're gonna pick out. Hey guys, it's Kate and this is my boyfriend Michael. Hey. And we're gonna be trying some vegan junk today that we got at Whole Foods, so. I think we'll start with the Annie's or Amy's mac and cheese. So we cooked that up and let's give it a, a test. It's pretty good. It's not bad. I think it's good for vegan mac and cheese because it's hard to find. Like, I would eat it. Yeah, it's not bad. It's kind of heavy, but it's not bad. What would you give that out of 10? 5.8. That is very exact. I was going to say like a 6. Like, I'd eat it, but I think it's pretty good for vegan mac and cheese. What do you want to try next? Do you want sliders or something like sweeter? Sliders. Okay. Okay. Next up, we cooked some Gardein beefless sliders, and I added some of the um, Follow Your Heart Gouda vegan cheese because I just thought it would be even better. I want ketchup. They're really hot. They are really hot. I don't burn my mouth. You can go first, yeah. It's good. Pretty good. Pretty good? Yeah. I don't think it tastes exactly like beef, but it's like similar. I mean, no, yeah, it doesn't taste exactly beef, but like it has good taste. Why do you give this one? 7.1. Can you stop with the decimal? <laughs> 7. <laughs> I agree, 7. We have three ice creams, and I don't know which one I want to try. First, this was my favorite Ben & Jerry's flavor. That wasn't vegan, so do you want to try this one first? Okay. It's chunky Monkey. I have high expectations for this. Oh, I don't know if I can open it. I've never had the real version, so I don't really have a, an accurate... Of what she any, tastes yeah, like? Yeah, I, I don't have anything to go off of. Okay, well, the real thing is <laughs> delicious. I want to get one with like a chocolate chunk. Oh my gosh. There we go. Oh. Big piece. Okay, one, <laughs> two, three. I'm not a huge fan. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I mean, it is banana ice cream, so if you don't like banana ice cream, then you probably won't like it. Yeah, I love it. I love it. Mm. You're still eating the slider. <laughs> I'm gonna finish the slider. What do you give this? A five. Okay, I'm, like this is probably like a nine for me. Nine, very high. I'm mm, so good. Earth Balance Vegan Aged White Cheddar Flavor Puffs. And I think these are like vegan pirate foodie. 
They look a little bit like those little things that you get in like packages. Styrofoam. I mean, the texture's like styrofoam, but it tastes really good. Yeah, it is kind of hard to bite into at first, but. I like it. And the taste is good. What do you give up? I'll give it a. S I can't do decimals? No. Alright, I'll give it a six. Um, it's a high six, though. If okay. I was doing decimals. I think like a seven. It's pretty good. Mm. Cookie or brittle? Cookie. Okay. A nice chocolate chip cookie from Living Kitchen. These better be good because they were like seven bucks in Whole Foods. And I have a tiny bag, so. Kind of cut okay. together. Okay. What flavor is this? Chocolate chip. Okay, party. Nope. <laughs> Don't like that. <laughs> That's a three. The chocolate chips are really bitter. And the texture is not, I mean like, it's not awful, like I could eat this, but I don't really want to eat this. I don't, I don't like that at all. Can you finish this? Can you? Yeah, go ahead. What was, what was your score out of 10? Oh, um, like a two. Wow, lower than me. What'd you get? A three. Mm. I'm, I've been pretty tough so far. I didn't like it. Okay, I'm excited for like the vegan Cheez-Its because I haven't had Cheez-Its in probably like years. I've only been vegan for a little bit, but I still, I haven't had Cheez-Its in so long. Yeah, they look, they look like regular Cheez-Its. Okay, ready? A little crunchy to you? No, it's cheesy? I didn't, I didn't really get a taste. Like, I don't really taste anything. It tastes like, it's very airy, light. I mean, those weren't as good as I thought they were gonna be. I kind of like a weird cheese taste. Yeah, I'll give them a four out of ten. I agree, like a four. You don't know, you're gonna might like it. Okay, and this is the new like the vegan Halo Top flavors. This is vanilla maple. I've tried peanut butter cup and oatmeal cookie in the vegan flavors, and I thought they were absolutely disgusting. It's heavy maple. It has a weird, like all the vegan flavors have a weird like grittiness or something. It, it it's very heavy maple. There's not a lot of vanilla flavor in it. I just there's they all have this weird, like the same taste, and it's hard to describe unless you've tried them. It's just like. Yeah, I give it a three out of ten. Yeah, I don't like it too. So, I've never heard of this brand. Is the brand banana? Yeah. Banana, and we got the dark chocolate flavor. Actually, no, it's Barnana. Oh, Barnana. It looks like it has like coconut on it. I love coconut. Mm -hmm. I think it's good, not great. It's not bad. I think it's like a solid like, Five, six. And we have a cheese pizza cooking in the oven. Peanut butter. <gasps> I didn't put a timer on pizza. It's gonna be a problem. Well, I found these in my freezer. I have the chocolate fudge brownie from Ben and Jerry's, which is an absolute staple. And then the so delicious snickerdoodle ice cream, which sounds amazing because I love snickerdoodles. So if you're looking for some vegan ice cream, this is probably the video for you. Oh yeah. That looks really good. Okay, I'm gonna get really big. You didn't wait for me. I think it's really good. That's, yeah, that's good. That's very good. I gave it a seven. The chocolate's high really- high seven. High seven. I mean, I think this and the Chunky Monkey, like, both nines. It takes a lot for me to get a nine. I don't- But it is good. I think that this tastes the same as the 
Like, I think if you gave this to somebody and didn't tell them that it was the vegan version, I don't think they would, like, suspect anything. Pizza now? It's a little hot. I'll try one more ice cream. One more? Some Ben and Jerry's or Snickerdoodle? Let's do the Snickerdoodle. Okay. Okay. Oh, I have a little Snickerdoodle chunk right there. That is the tiniest bite in the world. Mm. It tastes like Christmas. It tastes like, I mean, it tastes like Snickerdoodle. 10. Six. <laughs> it's good, it's good, I like it, it's just. Do you like I'm Snickerdoodles? Not, I'm not like a huge Snickerdoodle fan. That's the only problem. Snickerdoodle I eat is, I eat the complete cookies, the Snickerdoodle. I think this is really good. I think So Delicious and Ben and Jerry's are the vegan ice cream way to go. Ben and Jerry's first. It smells kind of like cardboard. Probably because it burned it. <laughs> Savage. The crust is a little crunchy, but that might have been my fault. It's not bad. The, yeah, the, the crust is not that good. I think I burnt it a little bit though. I could definitely eat it though. I could too. Give it a, give it a, a low five. A low five. I mean, this isn't the best vegan pizza I've had. Mellow Mushroom has really good vegan pizza. But this is pretty good for like frozen pizza you make at home. The sauce and cheese are honestly like an eight. The crust is like a two. Yeah, the crust is not good. I think if it had better crust, this would be a really solid pizza. But I could definitely still eat it. I probably will eat it after this video. This is kind of a cheat because clearly I've eaten some before. So I already know what I think. But this is one of my other favorite flavors of Ben and Jerry's before I was vegan. Mm. That one's good. It's really rich, but if you like rich dark chocolate, that is really good. Yeah, that's good. I'll give that. It's mid to high seven. Oh my god! Might be a ten. Still a seven. It's a it's a high seven. <laughs> it's close close to an eight. We say our favorite and least favorite thing. Okay. Okay, you go first. All right. I think my favorite was the beefless sliders. Because he ate both of them. <laughs> and then. And you like the vegan cheese on top? Yeah, that I used? the cheese was good, yeah. I used Gouda from Follow Your Heart, which I recommend. Okay, least favorite. Definitely the living kitchen. That was the worst. These $7 cookies. Were not good. They are good ingredients though, so if you're on a little health kick. My favorite thing is definitely one of the ice creams, except for this one, this one is trash. But I can't decide which flavor I like the best. Probably the snickerdoodle or the chocolate fudge brownie. One of the two. I really can't pick. Maybe snickerdoodle because the chocolate fudge brownie is really good, but I feel like it's so rich that you can only eat a little bit before you get kind of like sick. Yeah, I agree. So snickerdoodle for best. And then worst, I feel bad like with the cookies again, but they really weren't good. Well, thank you for watching this video. I hope you got some vegan ideas of junk food that you can eat. And I hope they showed that like vegans don't just eat celery and grass. I think some people might think that. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, then give it a thumbs up and subscribe.